Hey, what's up, guys? Just jumping on here to hang out with you with a new version of Toast Me, which is the free Kemper profiling editor available from Facebook group Toast Me. Uh, this version is the 1.38 version, and it is available now for download. It is, a, I think, a beta version, but it includes the support uh, with the new version of the Kemper, which is also a beta version, that has the spring reverb module in it. So this version of KPA editor has everything you need in order to create new tones, run profiling of amps and create pro performances, do the browser, it has tuner support. So very quickly, I just wanted to show you the interface. The interface is very easy to use. It has all of your necessary buttons and the ability to lock certain things, including stomps, uh, locking cabinets, locking um, uh, entire like patches right and then uh, through the inputs you can change everything from the clean the distortion sense the reamp sense the Nellie's gate I was able to have I run through the alternative input here uh, able to have direct control over what input I'm using right here on the editor and then on the outputs we have you know all your mains output master stereo etc headphone output um, the spatial thing you can turn all that space off the uh, you know the, the cab sense I guess is what what is also called and then with the profiler you can actually activate the profiling protocol right here using this editor so the profiling system right it's all uh, usable directly from the editor itself so with this editor one of my favorite features because I'm not a professional musician I'm just a, a uh, you know closet guitarist so to speak the ability to create patches and modify patches on the fly without having to go over here and mess around with my screen and mess around with all of that, you know, situation going on with uh, the actual Kemper. I have my Kemper mounted on this cart over here, as you can see right here in Kemper Cam. And um, I have my Kemper mounted over here on a cart, which is like six or seven feet away from me behind the camera. And then I have my you know little camera that's set to the Kemper and all that stuff and then another camera right here the microphone you know it's a production what I have going on here in this room but with that being said I'm able to have full control over everything on the Kemper including the tuner directly by using just my computer and my mouse this is something as Kemper users that we have been demanding from the Kemper team and they just refuse to give us and so Damien Greta on Facebook here this this Facebook group over here called toast me created an editor and it's available for free there's no money down, none of that stuff. There's no, there's nothing you have to do other than download and install the software, and you have complete control over your Kemper, right? You also have the added functionality of being able to move reverb anywhere you want, which is a new innovation of the new version of the Kemper software, uh, you know, from Kemper and themselves. And also, when you're digging around with the reverbs, you're able to. Um, you know, have a, a really nice graphical interface here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here on the EQ, the graphic equalizer is actually a graphic equalizer, right? Like, to me, my mind, you know, doesn't really play well with this whole knobs situation right here. I don't know why, I just, I'm not very good at that, of seeing the, the waveform I want in my tone, but whenever I, I'm able to use the graphic interface, the graphic equalizer using this Kemper editor, I'm able to s visualize where my sliders are, right? And then that just, it just made it so much easier for me that I took all of my existing Kemper tones, added this block to, it just makes it so much easier to, to navigate and to effectively dial in exactly what you want because the Kemper itself with the knobs and the buttons and all that stuff, great, right? But with an editor, great, even greater, right? This thing, what I'm talking in reference to the previous version before he had the graphic interface. And then now with this newer version with the graphic interface, it's just like, yes, I can do exactly what I want. I can put it exactly where I want. And um, the, the value in that is, is, is far more than what it's worth. And remember, this is free. This isn't like you gotta pay or subscribe or any of that stuff. Damien's doing this out of his own love for the community, for the product, and for for just for the love of tone, right? And so I wanna quickly just jump now, let's switch gears into uh, a, like creating a preset setup, right? So let's uh, take a look here. I accidentally launched my Helix. 
Uh, let's close Helix. I don't need Helix. I, I don't even use my Helix anymore. And, and that, you know, about that, right? Like, I guess that was a Freudian slip. Because the Helix has an editor, it's such an awesome interface, right? But now because of this editor, it makes Kemper so much more better. So let's jump into creating a new tone using um, this setup. So what I want to do is go, and it's advisable that you use the Rig Manager, right? So we're going to use Rig Manager. I'm using this Imperial Empire Kilt Crazy number one, which is a very, uh, very aggressive patch from Tone Junkie, I must say. And it's one of my favorite ones. Let's jump into a, a Ricky Storty jubilee patch so i clicked into it and then boom now it's updated over here in the toast me 138 editor so as you can see this is a very clean patch there's nothing going on here clean as in there's no there's a reverb and a gate that's all that we got so here's the bass tone <laughs> not bad great starting point but by using the graphic um, uh, equalizer, I'll be able to make this really jump out. So let's take a look at that. So here we are in graphic equalizer land, and I'm just roughly throwing things out the way I like to see them. You know, this isn't what you have to do, or by any means what's, you know, what I recommend. It's just the way I roll, right? So here, here we got um, the non-affected original tone. So just by having this graphical representation, you know, right right here at my fingertips, I was able to quickly identify how I want things to look. That took less than a second. All right. Now let's go to, uh, you know, amending some of the gain functionality. A little, little gainy in my opinion. All right. Let's take a look at that. Like the way that sounds we can we can ju adjust the clarity the definition the tube shape all the parameters with the tube thing going on here the compressor uh, we can we can adjust everything right here using this free editor so this is really really awesome you can move the stack eq to pre or post right now i have it in the post let's see what it sounds like in the pre so let's go through that <laughs> All that functionality is available right at your fingertips for free, by the way. All right, so let's let's do some more stuff. Let's do the uh, the reverb module here. So with reverb, I want to use a large room, and we're going to do the Tone Junkie um, approved and uh, you know identified a trick to put a modulated chorus. And so what I have is a reverb, and I've turned the balance all the way up, and this will give me the bypass feature where the block in front of the reverbs affected signal will go around the reverb pedal and affect the trails or the the output wet signal of the reverb pedal so let's throw in there a vintage course right so we got vintage course you know like six rate and like 70 7.9 depth let's do that let's see what that looks like so here we are uh, it's off let's see what it sounds like before we mess with it need to add some more time to that reverb Let's take a look at the course. I need to bring the mix up and you can do all that right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So using this editor, I'm able to have that whole little tone junkie trick where you move the chorus behind the reverb using the uh, balance switch there. So moving on to this uh, modulated block, I like to put my own delay in there. Um, typically, I like uh, just a tape echo, you know what I mean? Nothing super uh, exotic, just a, just, a, just a straight up delay, right? So let's do... Oh, like a single delay, legacy delay. How about that? We'll start there. So I can switch on the fly right here on screen from a delay time format to a note time format just by clicking this little button right there. So I like about 420. There we go. And so now my signal will be EQ, uh, you know, post amp. Uh, it would be EQ delay chorus routed to the reverb. And then reverb, right? So let's take a look at what it sounds like. So real quickly, just by dinking around with this user interface, and, and I'm not like, you know, leaning in over here to my Kemper. My Kemper is, let me show you my finger, right here. The Kemper is right here, and my computer mouse is right here. So I'm, I'm not even messing with the Kemper, you know, per, per the Kemper cam here. Kemper is all the way up here where my hand just messed around with. So I'm not anywhere near it. I'm doing everything on the fly. And as you can see here in Kemper cam, as I'm turning on these little buttons, these graphic representation buttons, you can see that the lights are turning on the Kemper itself. So everything is totally just an amazing um, functionality and feature set that for free is absolutely stunning. <laughs> This is uh, by far the most usable feature of the Kemper, and Kemper didn't make it. Another person did. And so as I always like to do, let's, uh, let's try everything in context. And uh, actually, what I want to do real quickly is load up a boost pedal before we get too crazy. Uh, let's throw on, I like to use the Pure Boost. And kind of very mellow version of the pure boost. I'm not trying to, you know, like win any awards here. Just let's see how this looks. So turn off the, de the delay and the chorus. Yeah, I'm not trying to win any awards here. Just kind of have a little bit of a kick on the amp because this is a Marshall 8, uh, JCM 800 in crunch mode. I don't need to do too much, right? And as you can tell, my delay is a little out of control. So let's go back and correct that. So I need to change the feedback of the delay to make it less aggressive. Yeah, I got a lot of feedback going on there, so. So that's essentially a very good working, um, a very good working uh, just demonstration of how I literally use this overall setup now, like a suite, right? I have my Helix, I mean my Kemper, I'm running the Toastme 138 and a Gibson, and uh, with the added functionality of the internet, 
I can throw on a jam track and then just go to town, right? <laughs> Let's do that. Using an A track, this is from uh, Elevated Jam Tracks. And this is like an A, make melancholy. While I was playing, I was able to turn on the boost, turn off the boost, I was able to adjust my stack EQ to get it exactly where I want it to be. And, um, you know, it, it's just the functionality of the Kemper, which is already the, the dominant product on the market, right? So let's make no mistakes here. Let's clear that up right here, right now. I have a Helix. Um, I've had other modeling products out there like the Bias Positive Grid stuff. Great start, guys. Good job, Helix. Everybody, you know, Everybody at the table, good job. There's plenty of money for everybody here. But from my perspective, you know, there's there's a running meme and a graphic out there that says, you know, Kemper was made in 2012 with no hardware and then uh, no hardware updates since 2012. So it's a six year old product, whatever you want to say. And then even Steve from Boston mentioned that the uh, the Kemper hasn't had any hardware increases. And so he, he didn't think that that was a good situation to put your money into. But I think that's a it's a misaligned thought process. And, a, and, that, and that shows a clear lack of understanding of what the Kemper is about here, guys. With the Kemper, okay, you can profile any amp that will ever be made and has been made. And so if Joe Bonamassa has like a $10 million amp that, you know, none of us can ever afford or ever touch or ever even have the privilege of playing through, you know, if he wanted to get a Kemper and profile that amp, you could download that profile for whatever the price is that he sets it or whatever, right? And then install that into your Kemper and then boom, you have something that sounds exactly like that app, right? Versus like Helix, versus like Axe and versus like Head Rush and versus the new Boss GT, whatever, 9000, whatever that thing is called. You know, those products are not profiles of amps. Those products, although they're point to point matching or whatever, are still someone's representation of what that amp sounds like. So. And you're, you're, you're at the mercy of the, of the boss people. You're at the mercy of the head rush people. You're at the mercy of the line six people. You're at the mercy of the axe effects people of when they get around to profiling, creating a representation of what that amp sounds like and to when they release it. Whereas in Kemper, you can go on to the exchange here and before you even spend any money on profiles, there's 12,000 profiles in the exchange. And I'm a huge Tone Junkie fan, and I have a lot of Tone Junkie amps, all paid for by me, by the way. Thank you very much. But literally, yesterday evening, I got on the exchange because I just wanted to try something else, right? And so I get on here, and I was like, all right, let's see what the latest patches out there are, the latest profiles out there, and who's got some stuff. And so I'm just scrolling through here, and I see Ricky Statori, Storty? Ricky Storty has all of these patches. I was like, oh wow, this guy just uploaded this entire profile you know, of all his patches that he has. And so I started dinking around of them and I've been looking for a really nice JCM Jubilee, uh, Silver Jubilee and JCM 800, JCM 900, JVM set of amp profiles and I found one and I, and I stuck with it and that's what we're using right here. 
We're using the Marshall JCM 800 crunch mode profile from Ricky Storty. It was free, and it sounds really good. I mean, when you take off all the all the fluffy stuff I added to this profile, and we're just running the amp by itself, it's amazing. Take a look at this. That's a great starting tone. Inside my headphones and inside my, uh, or you know, or push through my head rush, um, FRFR, right? That amp profile sounds amazing. It just needs a little smoothing, you know, to taste, right? That already, for free, using this editor as well, for free, sounds way better than anything on my Helix. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you, but the Helix will only ever be what Line 6 gives you. So if they decide to profile a bad cat amp tomorrow, if they decide to profile another Mesa or another of the 100 Marshalls they have profiled, then you get access to those things. Whereas here in Kemper, made in 2012, with no hardware significant updates, it is a product that continuously renews itself by the market creating profiles for it. And so that's like the success of a manufactured um, piece of equipment, is that it requires no relevant updates from you, no relevant increases or adjustments from you as you made it. You've made a product that does not require any further support. And then by opening the product to the people, people are able to take your product and enhance it to their own wishes. A great example of that is Windows, right? When Windows came along, you could do anything you want. And the, the divide between Windows people versus Apple people on this side and Windows people on that side, right? It's incomparable. Great, Apple does a good job with audio and video editing, but it's only those softwares, whereas there's millions of softwares available to Windows users. And people who understand exactly what I'm talking about, I want you to understand that's how Kemper is. Kemper is Windows, and Helix and everything else is Mac, meaning you'll only ever get what Mac gives you. You will never get anything outside of that because in Windows, you can do anything you want. In Kemper, you can do anything you want. And with this editor, Toast Me 138 for free, you can do anything you want without having to move up and do all this stuff. So the people out there who are saying, oh, I like Kemper, but it's it hasn't been updated, remember, stipulate that by saying, let's quantify that, the Kemper does not need updates. You can download any profile you want for free, you know, on the exchange, or you can go and do what I do is buy people's profiles from Sela Sounds, from Michael Britt Profiles, from uh, Tone Junkie, the list goes on and on. You can buy these profiles and download them and put them into your camper and your amp can be with a switch, a fender, with another, and, and a really authentic nice fender sound, and then with another switch you can be a Marshall. And if you don't like the way that Marshall profile sounds, you can go and download someone else's Marshall profile until you find the one that you like. And that's literally what I did here with this Marshall. I have a bunch of Marshall profiles, some that I paid a lot of money for, and some that I didn't actually like very well. But here I stumbled across the exchange yesterday, literally evening, and I found this uh, JCM 800 and the Jubilee that he has available. And it was just like, wow, I'm done. I don't need any more Marshall Profile. This is the Marshall Profile for me. And literally, that's where I'm at with this right now. With this profile, with this whole thing with Kemper, and the editor, the free editor now made by Damien in the Toast Me Facebook group, I don't have amp gas anymore. Yeah, you see, I have a, um, a, J, uh, a, a, a 6505MH, I have a Vox, but those are two amps that I'll never get rid of, and the reason is why because those are amazing amps and and the modifications that I've done to those amps I eventually want to profile I don't know how to do that yet I'll eventually learn how to do that and when I do that maybe I'll consider getting rid of the amps but to this day I've sold all of my amps all my Marshalls all my fenders everything I had and I've boiled it down to two amps 6505 for metal and Vox AC30 for everything else up to and including metal because the Vox has a great metal tone um, and that's one of the cool things about the Kemper, right? Is if you get your hands on a decent Fender or a decent Vox amp profile, and what I do with my real Vox and my real Fenders when I had my Fenders is I ran them extension out to my 4x12 cab in the closet with a microphone and then back into my headphones. With that, using like a Friedman pedal or something along those lines or the Tone City um, Golden Plexi pedal, 
I was able to get the most righteous metal tone before I even touched something like a 6505. The 6505 is just there for repertoire. And I'll never get rid of it because it's a great amp. It's portable. It's compact. It has a great tone. And it's very reasonably priced, $400. So I got a $400 amp sitting here that I bought two years ago. I don't need to get rid of it. It's a great amp. And the same goes for the Vox. The Vox AC30, I made it on a trade. I got it from my Blues Deluxe. Didn't want the Blues Deluxe anymore. Hated it. And the guy gave me his, his Vox AC30 C2. Absolutely love that amp. I'll never get rid of that amp, honestly. I retubed it, did a couple of modifications to it, and that amp is the screaming demon of all time. However, one of the cool things about a Vox and a, and a Fender amp is if you boost them in the correct manner, you get the most righteous tone of lead and, and metal ever. And you can do that with your Kemper profiles, right? If you, if you pick a Kemper profile that doesn't suck, and you boost it in the right way, as I prescribe, you get the most amazing metal tone out there. Contrast that with my Helix using their Fender stuff and their Vox stuff. It just sounded overcompressed, very sterile and very um, unorganic, very uniform and, and not multidimensional in any way, unidimensional sound. Whereas with the Kemper, all that stuff goes away. The feel, the sound, the texture is all there. And having the editor, this free editor at your disposal, takes that Kemper to the next level, right? Like, I honestly want to buy another Kemper. So I have one in this room and one in that room. And th that's, that's overkill. I don't need to do that. But having the editor makes me love my Kemper more, right? Like, the Kemper I bought before I had the editor... I got rid of all my amps because it's like, okay, we're done. And I'm keeping a Helix, by the way, the LT, hoping that one day Line 6 will come up with a profiling algorithm as Kemper has. And then I'm hoping that one day in the future, Line 6 profiled amp uh, you know, capacity will eclipse what Kemper has. But that's, that's a story for another day. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, hey, it's all good. Because I think with bias, you can profile amps. I, I could be wrong, though, but... Anyways, that's a story for another day. The main the main thrust of this video is, is mostly Kemper, Toast Me, the new version 1.38, and then you know a couple of tips and tricks in real time, using it with the uh, uh, you know in real time messing around with the uh, live ability to change things on the fly while you play. That's mainly what I wanted to kind of get at here. So let's get back to some more playing. And I want to continue this jam track, and let's uh, let's just dink around with this Kemper using this preset, and let's see how things go. All right, let's give it a shot.
that's basically the gist, right? You know, lessons learned here. Use Kemper, right? Get a Kemper. Get some good profiles. Get the Toast Me 138 editor for free off the Facebook Toast Me group and go nuts. I mean, seriously. Like, there is nothing better than this right here. In my limited guitar capacity, you know, the ability to just go crazy here with the couple of clicks of the mouse turns the Kemper into, you know, advanced piece of equipment on the market. So that's basically all I got for this video, man. Just hanging out. Um, I hope you like it. Give it a shot. Uh, give a shot to the Toast Me. I'll post a link down below. And if you like this kind of content, man, subscribe and like and, uh, you know, join me in the comment section. Let's have a talk. Every once in a while I'll do some live videos, but, you know, I've been having some technical difficulties with that lately. So we'll just stick to the pre-recorded videos. That's been me. I hope you enjoy the new Toast Me editor. Rock on, guys. Uh, give me a shout out, and thanks for hanging out. Rock on, y'all.